The ambassador is waking up. I demand to know why I have been abducted and bound. You're in no position to make demands. You are in no position to survive this day. They will come for me. We discovered your lies. Nobody's sympathetic to you now. If you were in control of this situation, you would have me in medical or still in the Centaurian section. I do wish we had him in medical. What you're going to do is issue an announcement apologizing for the deception and calling for us all to return to Earth. I will do no such thing. Let me try. I've done a few interrogations. Have at it. I'll go check the traps. You're gonna wish you cooperated with Maradona. You do not frighten me, child. I'm 24. I am either 81 or 2614 depending how you count hibernation time. Ask him how to activate the suspension pod's maintenance mode. I can hear you. Well? I have no intention of helping you in any way. Without your advice, I could damage it when I disassemble it. I have no doubt that you will. And then you'll be stuck in real time with the rest of us. No more skipping ahead to the future. You'll die before we get anywhere near your home. You know we are not going to my home anyway. Your station. I'm sure you'll have transport home from there. Once we humans have been safely stowed where we can't observe your trajectory. You think you are clever. He's figured you out quick, Doc. If you are truly clever, you will help me so that you may live. QuietPlease.org presents 253 Matilda. At the turn of the 22nd century, the asteroid 253 Matilda was converted into an interstellar spaceship. Now 92 years into a 780-year mission, generations have come and gone. Episode 6, End of an Era. We believe they have explosives and other traps at both entrances, and it'd be hard to ensure a militia wouldn't have returnist infiltrators. We'd win in the end, but any direct assault could lead to a lot of casualties. And of course, there's no way we can ensure the safety of the hostage. What about their air supply? Can't we just turn off their air until they pass out? That's why they picked the Arboretum. The plants will process oxygen for them, and they've already blocked the vents to prevent us pumping in a knockout gas. We could turn off their power, leave them in the dark. That could stop the plants from producing oxygen, but we wouldn't be able to time how long until they pass out. And Centaurians can't go as long without oxygen as we can. So either we'd have to go in while the terrorists are still awake, or we'd have to let the hostage die. And the terrorists would know when to expect our assault. We'd lose the critical advantage of surprise. And for all we know, they may have battery packs that could last them quite a while. Well, Detective C. Tang, do you have any suggestions? Send a negotiator. At least it'll buy us some time and intel. Maybe some of the terrorists are having second thoughts, and we can split them. I don't think we have any trained hostage negotiators. It's not like the situation has ever come up before. Can you think of somebody they trust? Somebody they wouldn't take as another hostage who might be able to talk them down? Hmm. There is someone who meets those criteria. Mayor, what are you doing here? I, uh, I have a request to make of you, Judge. What is it? I believe you're up to date on the situation. I'd like you to negotiate with the terrorists who are holding Ambassador One. Find out what they want, see if the Ambassador's okay, devise any concessions you can to secure the Ambassador's release without compromising our mission. Thank you, Mayor. It's an honor. Don't mistake this for forgiveness. I think you're a disgrace as a judge, and this hostage situation is your fault. And so is Patel's death, because you let Amadi and Stone go free. 
I trust you understand now how letting criminals off the hook encourages them to commit further crimes. But I need to send someone these terrorists will listen to and trust. And that's you. Go clean up this mess you've created, if you can. Ambassador, have you been treated okay? Other than being kidnapped and bound and threatened with violence if I do not issue a false call to abandon the mission, and not provided any food or water, and some lingering nausea from the improper waking, I am okay. I'll see what I can get them to do for you. By the way, Ambassador Five asked me to relay a one-word message to you. He said you'd understand. What is the message? Tonight. Understood. If I may ask, Ambassador, your voice sounds so different and in some ways more natural than Ambassador Five's, except you don't seem to use contractions. Why is that? We all have our idiosyncrasies. Five chose a translator voice that emphasizes his alien nature to you. If you sometimes cannot understand him easily, he does not care, or more likely he enjoys your struggle. I think he likes the attention and unusual voice commands, he is rather pungent in our language as well. Interesting. Thanks for the insight. Maradona, what are your intentions toward the Ambassador? That depends on the Mayor. If he turns over power to us, we'll set the Ambassador free. I don't think that's a realistic demand. But who exactly would he be turning power over to? You? I could become mayor, or we could have a ruling council representing various constituencies, as long as they're committed to a return to Earth. Either way, you'll be pulling the strings. As long as the right strings get pulled, I'm not fussy. Hope you remember whose side you're on, Amadi. What if the mayor were to agree to return to Earth without handing over power? Worthless. He could just change his mind later once he's got us out of the way. What about putting a neutral third party in power for the time being? Let me guess, Amadi. You were about to declare yourself neutral and offer to graciously accept the position. The thought hadn't crossed my mind, but I'm up for it if you insist. Gentlemen, let's get back on track with some smaller issues. We'd like you to allow Ambassador 5 to speak with Ambassador 1. What are you offering? Food and water. We already have that. How about more battery packs, in case the mayor shuts off our power? Uh, I think that can be arranged. And it'll be a video call only. No physical access. Fine. It's a start. Trust can be built from the smallest foundation. Tell the mayor we aren't going to budge on the demand for an end to his rule. He's not going to like that. But I'll tell him. Mayor, I'm prepared to loan you five laser rifles and five stun grenades. This should be sufficient. I wasn't aware you had such an arsenal. As an alien minority here, we needed defensive precautions. The current situation demonstrates they were inadequate. And what would you have me do with these weapons? Is it not obvious? You must use them to subdue the terrorists and free the hostage. And then? Is trial and imprisonment not the obvious step? There are six of them in there, and probably dozens of collaborators on the outside who bear criminal responsibility, and at least 50 or 60 more who sympathize with their cause and would see them as living martyrs to rally around. We can't fit them all in the cell. Then execute the terrorists. Their examples will be instructed to those who might think to imitate them. And will your birthing age population not be happy for the additional birth permits in next year's lot? Get out! Mayor, I don't understand you. Our people are not disposable! We're seeking a peaceful solution. Get out! I will leave. But if you don't act, if you do not free Ambassador 1 before this day is done, then we will act without you. And then our dynamic will change, and perhaps, instead of you calling me to your office, it's I who will be calling you to my office. Damn, I think I just triggered an anti-tampering failsafe. 
I suggest that you all gather closely around it to see if one of you can spot how to disable it. Get away from it, Doctor! I think you're right. Are they attacking? How'd they get a bomb in here? It's just the hibernetic suspension pod had an anti-tampering mechanism. Should have anticipated. It was designed for exactly this sort of scenario. They really don't want us getting that technology. Well, that's the end of your chance to get home. Yes, it is. Now I will die inside this rock with the rest of you. So you may as well cooperate and issue the call to return to Earth. It makes no difference to you now. I do not cooperate with terrorists. I would think you would have deduced that by now. Welcome to the house of God, Mayor. Thank you, Father. I've brought a sacrifice for the fire. May your sacrifice bring peace for us all. If only it could. Father, I need a spark of creative insight. I need a way to avert war and heal our community. I can offer the ceremony of spiritual exploration. I gather the ceremonial herb causes visions. You've never tried it. I've always been trying to keep my thoughts ordered and under control. Perhaps it's time to try something new. I can give you a small dose so the effects will wear off quickly. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yes, I'll try it. Follow me. I haven't seen you lately, Mayor. I've been so busy. It's been a difficult time. I've heard. Some life and death decisions. It must be weighing on you. You can't imagine what it's like to watch everything you've worked for unravel so quickly. Worried about losing your job? No, I mean our community, our world. All I've ever worked for was stability. To be a stepping stone to faithfully hand off the mission to the next generation. And now we're on the precipice of chaos and the end of our mission could come any day. You feel responsible. I'm the mayor. Of course I'm responsible. Sometimes you have to accept that you can't control things to move forward. Well, let's hope surrendering control of my mind for a bit does some good. Here, it's ready for you to drink. I'll leave you to your privacy. May your experience be enlightening. Thank you, Father. Well, here goes. Hmm. I don't feel any different. You don't mean... Who else would it be?
Good morning, Oconquo. Did you hear me? What did I ever do to you to earn the silent treatment? Please state your destination. Level one, mayor's office. This just doesn't feel right. Access denied. But I'm the mayor. Override. Access denied. On whose authority? Your access has been revoked by order of the mayor. But I'm the mayor! Renata, what do you think I should do? You can't carry the weight of the world forever, Dad. You're in your 60s now. But what if everything falls apart when I let go? We're more resilient than you can imagine. You've left a legacy, and you can count on me to step up. Good evening, Mayor. Don't often see you down here. Thought I'd check on your progress. It's a break from everything else going on. I know what you mean. I'm glad to be in here instead of out there today. So how's the primary reactor? Back online. I went out and installed the replacement parts earlier today. Sorry I didn't inform you before going topside. I guess that's going to be a habit. I had other things on my mind. Figured. Well, we're getting full power and I don't anticipate any further issues. With your permission, I'd like to start devoting my time to engine design so we can use the new compound to increase our acceleration rate. I can handle the day-to-day -day maintenance issues. What about the damage to the Centaurian section from yesterday's battle? They want to repair that on their own. They've made it clear we're not welcome to help. Very well. I wish you luck with the new engine development. Maybe it'll solve our political problem by letting us visit both Proxima and Earth. I hope so. Unfortunately, I can't promise anything, and the development process will be years. Something to dream on. I have to confess something. What's that, Flint? I was the one who slipped the data cube into communications to draw Ambassador Five away when they attacked. Amadi tricked me into thinking it was harmless, but I still broke the rules. You couldn't have known what would happen, but I could have. Jesus Maradona practically spelled it all out for me and told me to avoid the Arboretum. I could have reported it, but I didn't. I have friends on both sides of this, but I wish I'd done all I could to prevent violence. We all have our regrets. You both did what you felt was right at the time. Maradona's group are just doing what they feel is right, too. Yes. Goodbye, Peters. Goodbye, Flint. Citizens, this is your mayor, requesting a moment of your time, one last time. I see each of you as family. I've watched most of you grow up. The entire purpose of my life has been to protect you as best I could, and until recently, I felt I was succeeding. It's with a heavy heart that I've come to the realization that you no longer have faith in my leadership. I cannot allow this situation to continue where neighbor is turning against neighbor. This situation is my failure, and I propose to fix it with my immediate resignation from office. Our Constitution allows a mayor to appoint a replacement, but I feel anyone I appoint would be compromised by that appointment and unable to heal our rift. Our new mayor must be chosen by the people. 
for the people. I therefore propose an election in which each citizen has an equal say in the outcome. We'll vote not only on a new mayor, but separately on the big question which splits us, whether to continue our mission or return to Earth. I beg you to lay down your weapons, release your hostage, and allow this election to resolve our differences once and for all. It's been an honor serving you. Thank you. You've been listening to 253 Matilda, Episode 6, End of an Era. Created, written, produced, and directed by Paul Neerham. The mayor is Roger Arnold. Judge Lee is Rachel Pulliam. Jesus Maradona is Matt Ellis. Chief Mech Salish Peters is David Loftus. Apprentice Mech Larissa Flint is Lindsay Townsend. Arash Amadi is Paul Neerham. Dr. Stone is John Gauntz. The priest is David Nagel. The evil monk was George Worrell. Detective Aranya C. Tang is Sova Rain. Renata Mutumbo is Kathleen Lee. Ambassador 1 is Microsoft Azure Neural Voice Eric. Ambassador 5 is the eSpeak Speech Synthesizer. Saunders is Aaron Summonsby. The announcer is Aaron Summonsby. Sound effects and music courtesy freesound.org and freepd.com. Additional music by audionautics.com. This program is licensed for free reuse and redistribution. Hear more episodes at quietplease.org slash 253.